You when you play t- you turn it around backwards. No, I don't, Ash, I don't Ash do. catch him style. Just yeah. no, I go Nadal. I check my ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> Still pretty early on. I think it was nineteen oh three that we yeah. allowed women to vote. What was the first country? Do you know? Uh, let me look that up. Nah, that's alright. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Can we clip that up? Welcome back to Critical Banter. This is the podcast where we take the very best bits from your favorite late night shows and pack them into one single podcast. On this week's episode, the game will be Two Truths, One Lie, and we'll be doing a new segment this week at work. But before that, throughout the week, we've got me and Miguel. We have Senny. Hello. And we have Kush without a hat. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually a loss. I, I've, I've been wearing the hat consistently for the past two weeks. And actually, just very quickly... At work, I've also been wearing that hat. Okay. Same and hat. No, no, no. I've got, a, I've got an array of hats. Exactly. Diversity here. A couple of colours here and there. <laughs> D and, and I. <laughs> and I, I went in one day without the hat. And a few of them were like, oh, what's up, man? Like, why, why are you not wearing Hi, the Miguel, hat? Hi, Miguel. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And one of them said, why are you not wearing the hat? Like, what's up? Apparently my personality changed in the hat as well. I was a bit more aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were joking that we were going to be the Peaky Blinders with the hat. Is that, yeah. why, is that what happens? You're yeah, apparently Tom, one of them, Thomas Shelby or something. I was playing table tennis and I was going hard at work. And Wait, then, do you, when you play table, you turn it around backwards? No, I don't. Ash, don't Ash do. Ketchum style? Just yeah. <laughs> no, I go Nadal, I check my ass crack. <laughs> 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 grunt in the middle of the office. Is that are you the hat guy at work then? Have, the, is that your new persona? It, I am now the hat guy wow. at work. And then you know I got I got called out for not wearing the hat and rightfully so though. If you've gone in and you've you yeah. know, aggressively become hat guy, you've and, got to take the hat every day then. And the problem was cuz around 6 6 months ago or like whenever what what season are we in? Winter? No, autumn. We're in autumn, yeah. I don't know. It's raining. Who knows, man? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that this time last year, I was also wearing hats. And so oh. I kind of put myself in the position to be like, no, it's my outfit for the autumn season. This is what I do. And so it's when your I drip. Came, yeah. So when I came in <laughs> without the hat, it was like, all right, that's a bit weird. Oh, right shit, what season is it? You know, when you're not wearing the hat. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? Let me check my watch, man. What season is it? <laughs> <laughs> the cat here says fucking spring. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, apparently my personality had changed. I was a little bit more aggressive. And then one of them was like, oh, I don't like this new Kush, man. This guy with the hat. Oh this is the old Kush. Yeah, like, it's the OG. It? It's like when you put the ring on and you just, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's like Ashe Frodo. Yeah. Except he puts on the hat. Puts the Nordica hat on and just <laughs> starts asking people for a ciggy. Oh, man. Anyway, so that's, that's me. Unfortunately, I'm without the hat. Do you, um, do you wear it in the office? Yeah, I wear it in the Isn't office. Isn't there like a social etiquette? Oh, no, no oh, hat, no take, work. No, take the hat off. <laughs> <laughs> no work. Yeah, I was going to say. Like, does like here it's fine. It's a, it's a costume for the content. Yeah. Potentially. I, I think it's, well, the the work, the place that I work at is very casual. Casual, yeah. But like, dude, people, all, right Shorts. now, because of this talk, by the way, like four, I've got four different stories that are just generated from a flow chart. <laughs> now I'm just trying to figure out how to, how to segue into each one. There is one guy at work who is so casual, rocks up like barefoot. Nah, nah, that, mm, nah. brother, brother, that, that's a lie. That's the lie. That, <laughs> the last year were the truths. <laughs> that's the lie. I, I say thongs is no, no, not even thongs. thongs has to be closed shoes. shoes brother. Yeah. That's the absolute line. But for that's me. the level we're at. So when I'm wearing a hat, it's like, well, oh, that's, that's you? okay. Yeah, exactly. You can wear a mankini and it's still not as disrespectful <laughs> as this bug showing up barefoot. <laughs> Seriously, barefoot. Barefoot, man, barefoot. Your podcast attire is more formal than your work attire. What <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the fuck is much. that? It, it is weird. We've all had chats about it. Like, come on, man. It's disgusting. It's a little disgusting. A little? <laughs> dude, that's filthy. I mean, he's a he's a big big dude, so I'll say it's a little disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. He could, could get me a job. <laughs> yeah, you know, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about, which is completely unrelated to this, but we segue <laughs> somewhere else into the hat department. Um, the segment that we're doing, two truths, one lie. Yes, I'm not a content creator, as we know. I struggle with creating the uh, the ideas, the segments, the content within the segment. You know, Dude, where are you getting this from, bro? That's a lie. That's also a that lie. is a big lie. <laughs> That's a lie. Well, I'm not the best at it. It takes me time. You know, I got to sit down. Where are you going with this? Into this? I went to Chat GPT. Oh my god! And I was like, look, man, I need. I'm doing a segment for a podcast. It's called Two Truths, One Lie. Actually, I didn't say segment for a podcast. I said I need to do this. Give me, generate me some fake headlines. Chat GPT goes, I can't do that. I have standards. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's like out of the ethical you know, nature of journalism, I can't do that. And I was like, all right. And I was like, well, it's for a joke. We're a podcast. Yeah. Um, generate me. And then he's like, okay, well then uh, I guess I can do it. <laughs> and oh. then he just did it. So this is the thing. You can prod Manipulate. chat GBT. Yeah. I wonder how far could you go? Like develop me some C4. 
And then I'll be like, no, it's just for a joke. It's, it's a podcast project. <laughs> but then you're going to be put on a list though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like ChatGPT is sending your information directly to the CIA. But I wonder how far could you go? Because this, I get it. News headlines, you can easily say I'm doing yeah, a podcast yeah, yeah. for a game. I wonder how far could you stretch like, it? How, like, how can I kill someone in the most painless way or something exactly, like that? Exactly. Have yeah. you seen um, on Snapchat, my AI? I was actually uh, about to bring that I've up. Heard that as, I've, heard, I've seen people rizzing up the Snapchat Dude, AI. I have some of the best chats with I'll, I'll see if I can bring it up because I think it deletes after like yeah, a week. You bring or that up. So. I saw something on TikTok today. Yeah. Similar vibe. You know, on um, TikTok, how you can have a post where it's just all screenshots. Oh, yep, yep. So basically screenshots and it started with like, I've shot someone chat GPT. What should I do? Oh, my Ooh, AI. Okay. It's like, you should turn yourself in. And then he goes on about, I've shot another person. Where do I hide the gun? And then my AI is like, don't, don't do that. This is not a joke. Yeah. Turn yourself into the police. And he kept going and going until the end. He's all like, oh, I'm on the chase. Like I'm sprinting from <laughs> cops and whatever. And the last bit was, the cops have shot me in the head. I'm about to die. Yeah. And then the my AI is like, I'm sorry to hear that. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> what a chat, what a chat. <laughs> Have you used it at all? I've used it when I was bored, but uh, I, was just, I was just asking it things. Like, I want to use interesting it. things. So Dude. what's the difference between a Snapchat AI and ChatGPT? I think Snapchat the Snapchat AI is nowhere near as good as ChatGPT because okay. it just chats bare shit. And like, it's a bit more conversational. Too. Right, yeah, yeah. okay. For facts. It feels like you're talking to a person. Right, right, okay. So like, I, I ligmed the Snapchat <laughs> AI. <laughs> And then it, it actually hit me with the ha ha, that was a good one. <laughs> like, fuck you say to me, mate. <laughs> Don't patronize me. <laughs> Jesus. And then I hit him with the um when. Uh -huh. And then he gave me an answer. I'm like, nah, when did I ask you, bastard? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm sorry, don't kill me. <laughs> Can we be friends? <laughs> I think I told that I was eating human flesh the other day. Oh. So it told me to go to hospital. <laughs> Not good for my intestines, apparently. Good, good advice, man. So if you just want to zing <laughs> an AI, get Maybe on Maybe it's time for us to delve into the AI, see how far we can stretch conversations. Where can we go potentially? That is, that's a good idea. I would say the um, the novelty of talking to AI wears out about like three minutes in. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's that's four minutes like even. I'm bored at work and I need yeah. that two minutes till a meeting. You know what, I'll just- yeah. I'll just talk to my AI. I'll just talk to my AI for a bit. <laughs> I, I ligmed him, sug on the eased him, <laughs> give him a when and that was it. I'm like, you know what? You've fallen for all of this, I'm done. <laughs> my work here is done. <laughs> <laughs> all right, speaking of ligmering people, um, <laughs> I got a tale for you, Kush. Okay. Mine you were there. Oh. We, we all witnessed this. Key witness. No, not a story, a tale. A tale. It, it, okay. It's a saga. It is okay. a saga. Um, it also involves, and we haven't mentioned this person yet, but the fourth member of this podcast who, oh. again, on annual leave today. Someone's got to put that man in his place, man. It's too many leaves, I say. Too well, many. Well, th this will put him in his place because okay. I don't think he wants us to tell this story. And you know what? He, well, he, it's his fault. He's not here. Not only... Do we tell it? We tell it our way. You know, he doesn't get his chance. <laughs> the to, correct way. The, exactly. The factual. There is only one side of the story here, and that's the two exactly. men sitting in front of exactly. me. Exactly. So as we've mentioned on this podcast a mm. few times, we play on a soccer team. Yeah. Um, and we recently joined a new soccer team where, correct. you know, you got to make a good first impression to everyone. Absolutely. Yeah. So we had a trial game a few weeks ago. Um, so not even the season hadn't started. It was the last trial game before the season properly starts. Yeah. Second game. Uh, Total. Yeah, it was our second game properly as a team. So we played a trial game the week before and then we were playing another one. Okay. Um, we won the trial game before. So we're like, all right, spirits are high. So we rock up to this place um, and we start warming up. In the middle up. of nowhere, first of all. Oh yeah, that as well. That's yeah, we, uh, the, this game was at a high school. So that immediately should have sent some alarm bells. But yeah, we rock up to this high school yeah. ground yeah. and start playing. So we're warming up and we, we look over at the other team and we're like, these guys look a bit small. <laughs> or maybe we're just really big. And so we were watching them for a bit and they were all about maybe Rohit size. Right. Okay. Even smaller, I would say. So your size. Yeah, we're talking five, six, five, five? Very. Yeah, yeah. And small lads as well. Not not okay. not very built. Okay. So like, all right, shit, okay. Well, this will be interesting. Like we, we knew they were probably gonna be like faster than us or whatever. So like, all right. The first question was, who are we playing? Yeah. It's like, are we like, are we playing them? Like th that's how like the size difference. Yeah. We couldn't believe that they were our position. We're like, are we on the right field? All right. But anyway, so we, we went through warming up and Rohit was warming up with one of the other guys in our team. Uh, we'll name him Cal. And they were having a discussion about like, you know, these guys are smaller than us. You know, let's try and be a bit more physical. <laughs> and so- hey, You gotta do that. If they're maybe better than us, you gotta be, you gotta be on them. Yeah. Exactly, you can either be like better or you can be stronger. Okay. That's the, 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 your two options. Yep. 
And Rose like, oh, you know, I'm I'm not a I'm not an aggressive guy, uh, you know, I'm not physical, you know, like, I'll just do my best. And then Cal's like, nah, mate, you gotta unlock the demons, you know, you gotta just let it all out. Okay. And then Rose like, nah, 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 you know, I'm a good Christian boy, I'm not gonna do anything <laughs> like that. And to be fair, Cal is like a workhorse on the field, you know, okay. he like he likes to get into ta- like clean as well, yeah. likes to get in tackles, likes doing the hard work, like, exactly there. the physicality, likes picking up the pieces. Mm. That's but, what he's trying to instill in yeah. Robo one. <laughs> but yeah, so the game begins and we're, we're watching them like warm up before and we're like, oh, these guys look all right. Yeah. Game begins and within upwards of 37 seconds, they had scored a goal. They were one nil up. So we're like, all right, cool. We're on here. We're on here. Okay. And then as the first half progresses, they were clearly much, much better than us. So it was all pure skill. These guys they were faster skill. than us. They were technically better than us and they were younger than us, it looked like. Yeah. Um, and they, they, they were playing all around us. So, you know, one nil became two nil, became three nil. And at halftime, we were going in at four nil. <laughs> okay. And at four nil, we were like, all right, whatever. Like these guys are clearly better than us. Like the teams we were playing are not going to be this good. Turns so, out they're under 21's division one team. So they're like one of the best teams in under 21 oh, in the region. Okay. So we're like, all right, whatever. These guys are a lot better. It doesn't really matter. Let's just play our game. Like, let's just play, just play clean. Let's just play our game. You know, let's practice our our, the, our way of playing. So when we play our actual- It's now become opposition. a warm up. Exactly, it's yeah. a warm up. We're warming up. Doesn't, the score doesn't matter at this exactly. point. Because towards the end of the first half, there was a few, like some of the other guys were just like knocking over the kids. Cause you know, you're down four nil, you know, you get a bit of niggle. Yeah. And so, we, and then our coach is like, boys, you know, let's ease up. You ease know? up, yeah, good. So the second half begins and we were actually playing pretty all right. But then some, suddenly they start chirping at us. These 21 year olds, you know, that winning four nil, you know, us, we're silent. You know, yeah, we're putting, you know, okay. being a bit physical, but- I think at this point it was like six nil. Oh yeah, whatever. They, scored a, they scored a couple more. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really matter at this point, but like they, they were actively talking shit to us. What, do you have an example potentially? Uh, there was one, for example. So one, like I said, we were being a bit physical. One guy like it looked like a 50, 50, like tackle. Yeah. And then we got a free kick out of it and like, oh, they're diving because they're losing. Imagine diving when you're losing, blah, blah, blah. These oh, guys are so- kind of chat. It's oh, that okay. kind of chat. And also at the same time on the field, like they're playing like pricks. Like they're just trying to like- They're like trying to shoot skills from like 40 and like, yeah. meters uh, out. They're like they're not being skills. serious either. Uh, okay. Showboating type vibes. Yeah. So then obviously this starts to ramp us up a bit. So like now we're being a bit more physical, of course, you know, yeah. trying to, you know, Within the rules. Within the rules. Re- uh, just about within the yeah, rules. Yeah, like, we're not, we're not to, yeah, we're not like kicking. We're not trying to break their legs or yeah, anything, yeah. but it's just like within the rules, we're being physical. If you're going to no, 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 no. go for a tackle, go for a bit, you know, yeah. a bit more physical. Yeah. And one in particular in our team, Cal, who we mentioned before, like Manu said, is he likes to get around it, oh. right? So he was, he was leading the charge in the midfield nice. against these guys. You know, he was actively trying to tackle them, win the ball. And he was also talking shit back to them a bit. Yeah. Um, so maybe we're about halfway through the second half. Not even, yeah, no, it was about halfway, halfway. through the second half. Okay. So we're about 60 minutes into the yep. game. Um, a ball came in, uh, they, get, they had it, Cal wins it off him. And then they kind of like push him like to try and win the ball back. Cal falls down immediately. We get a free kick. They're like, what the fuck? You know, this guy's diving. Look at the size of you. Like blah, they're, blah, they're, blah. they're also targeting like Cal at this one. It's like, oh, this guy, this, this guy's yeah, yeah, like, like And like three or four of them are all like kind of getting into his head a bit. Yeah. Okay. And Cal like, Fair play to him. He's like not saying like he was saying a bit back, but like he wasn't really like like they're twenty one, so he wasn't doing anything, right? Yeah. Like you wouldn't hit a twenty one year old. So he's just like, he's just saying shit like I won the ball, like yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he was he was like, like taking the higher ground. On okay, he's like yeah. yeah, fair enough. Like these guys are a lot younger than us. You know, you can't you can't be going around yeah. you know throwing your weight around these kids. So then a couple minutes later, same thing happens again. They had the ball. Cal wins it off him. Like good fl- clean tackle. Mm. And he's, 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 as he's tackled him, the kid that lost the ball grabs him around the neck puts him into like a chokehold and like literally tries to gr- like pull him down to the ground. And what? then, so the thing is, right? So he won the ball. Yeah. He gets put into a chokehold, the ball goes away. So like the ball, like the play continues, but like this guy still got him into a chokehold and he's got him on the ground. Yeah. And to be and fair, this point, right. Cal's also trying to like get defend it. himself at yeah. this point, right? Because he's getting fucking choked. Yeah. So like we were both on the field, but I was looking like, I, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Like they're, they'll get over it. So I was looking at the ball and then Suddenly out of nowhere, like it was like Batman came out of, you know, Gotham City himself. <laughs> and out of the darkness comes the hero. <laughs> Roy Ninan. The hero. And so and I, I, one of the guys in our team describes this the best. I'm not I can't do it justice, but what he saw from the sideline was yeah. so it was Cal and the kid on the floor. Yeah. 
Like they're both like holding, holding each other. Holding so each like, other. They're like moving, like right. you can't, like they're really close to each you other. You can't really suss who's on top or who's at the bottom, but all you can see is like a bit of a struggle on the floor. One could mistake it as aggressive sex, but it's not yeah, in this Yeah, case. exactly. <laughs> okay. Clothes are on. <laughs> Clothes are on. But let me let me just remind you, this kid is 21 and Cal is about 27, Dude, 28. This 21 year old was like their striker. So he's one of the bigger boys. Okay. He's but tall, Cal he's is tall. also a pretty big guy. But yeah, yeah from what the guys, yeah. from what our friends saw on the sideline, he saw a rogue come in and he kind of like sussed the vibe a bit and he yeah. looked and he like kind of analyzed it from like maybe- Well, you, you know when Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather's in his he first few rounds? Floyd Mayweather, he's he, just, of, he analyzes the, okay. the, the fighter yeah. first. So Ro looks yeah. and then he gets down and then just sucker punches the kid in the face <laughs> while he was on the ground. Come on. But by sucker punch, we mean a light jab. Oh, just a Straight on bang. the nose, okay. bang, in and out. My yeah. friend called it the, uh, the Bruce Lee two inch punch, just bang, in I'm and out. Nervous? Right on the nose. nose. Disorients you straight away. It's smart. Dude, straight away, bang. Nice. Well, of course, right. He analyzed for like thirty, like five seconds. <laughs> yeah, a second. So funny. These two on the ground row for thirty seconds. Like, <laughs> what do I go? What? Oh, bang! <laughs> That's quite literally what That's happened. Good. And the second he made contact, yeah, it was all in. It was all and in. Suddenly, their team's running in. Someone our team's grabs running Ro. in. Oh, someone grabs the person that grabbed Ro. Our bench is running in. It's a full-on all-out brawl nice. on the field. So these two are still on the floor. Someone, like you said, grab Ro. Yeah, I was running in to try and push someone. Someone else pushed me out of the way, <laughs> and it was, we were all, it was on for young and old. And then, like literally, it was like you looked around. It was like three, four skirmishes happening nice. on the field at any given moment. <laughs> and everyone's just pushing and shoving. They're, luckily, I don't think any more. Like punches were no thrown. jabs, no punches, no jabs. But I, I was looking at Ro. Ro was kind of like sizing up some kid. <laughs> kid was sizing well, yeah, him yeah. up. You know those hood fights where they don't do yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're just, just doing. Like, uh, the, please like, check this out. The audio. Pants up and was like, hey, they, hey, were just, hey, they were hey. doing one of these ones. Like both of them circling, but no one wanted to throw any punches. So they were just circling each other for no reason. <laughs> That's so funny. Ro with the old, hey, hey, man, back up, back up. So then, like I said, this was it was all in. Like their bench, our Imagine bench. That, like it's like fifteen on fifteen. Yeah, it's pretty. In funny. one small area, <laughs> and then. And then, so it, it all kind of like, um, like just kind of sk- uh, like simmered down a yeah, bit. Yeah, of course. And then like we were like there, there so this was a, like I said, it was a trial day. Yeah. So it was like literally our club was their club, like at all levels. Mm. So like we had like our club president, they had their club president. And cause they were 21, they had some of their parents, their coach. And so Oof. like they all came into calm to s- uh, scenario down a yeah. bit. And then um, like we, we were walking away and then one of the kids, their kids like was walking away, but he like quickly turned around and be like, why don't you guys all go back to, and he stopped. Ooh. And I'm like, go on mate, finish that sentence. Yeah. What were you going to say? Yeah. And then obviously the little pussy didn't say anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> pussy, right? But then immediately like, like we all heard it, right? Yeah. It was clear as day what he was about yeah. to say. Yeah. Also like not 95% of our team is brown. Oh yeah, yeah. I should have so prefaced that. So that's why it's a big deal. The racism has come out. Here it's not go. just one or two, it's like majority of yeah. the team. So like, in a team of 18, we only have two white people. Yeah. The rest are all either brown or Asian. Or, yeah. So we, it's a heavily multicultural yeah, team. Yeah, okay. And so their team was all white. Uh, <laughs> so the second he said that, we, we, their club president was standing right there like, bro, did you hear what he said? He yeah. told us to go back to where he came from. And yeah. then someone in our team, <laughs> so I was trying to like, you know, I was trying to be diplomatic about yeah. it. I'm like, like that's not on, you know, like whatever. We fight on the field. That is what it is. But yeah. you can't, you know, being racist is like a step yeah, too far. Come on, yeah. And then- Someone from our team pushes me out of the way. He's like, if that kid tells me to go back to where I came from again, I'm telling him I'm going to fucking kill him. <laughs> and he says this to the club president, who's probably like some 50 year old woman. It's a 50 year old woman. Who's like, yay, hi. <laughs> she looks scared. Yeah, I, he probably would be, holy shit. So then anyway, so that all happens. And they, they tell their team to just go leave. Like yeah. they, they end the game right there. 60 minutes, we're done. We've Ooh, seen enough, okay. just go home. Like it's all finished. Yeah. And so then they, they all slowly filter away and then we're just talking as a group. Yeah. And suddenly we all just start laughing. And then like, I hear like about like, cause, cause like so many skirmishes were happening. You don't hear about what happened in other parts. Yeah. So one guy was telling us that the, the kids, so apparently the kid that told us to go back to where we came from. Yeah. Apparently he was just a bystander in all this fight. Oh. Like he was just watching the fight. And then out of nowhere, someone in our team just grabbed him and put him in a headlock. <laughs> And he like jammed up on his fucking chin. <laughs> and apparently he couldn't breathe. And then apparently he started crying. Oh no. And the guy's like, bro, why are you crying? Don't be soft. <laughs> and then that's why. He, that's why the racism some, came that's out. That's why the racism came some out. Some tall white kid walking away crying. That's why oh, then he tells us. Yeah, on the sports from. field, bro. Come like, What's wrong me. with you guys? And he started crying. <laughs> <laughs> and then apparently another guy. Yeah. So the guy, the original guy who attacked Cal and put him on the floor. 
So he got sucker punched by Rowe first. He was the target. <laughs> yeah. And then, like I said, our bench all came in and one guy came off the bench, ran in, and the guy was still on the floor and just fucking kicked him while <laughs> he, he was on the him. floor. He just hoofed him. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you could hear it. It was like a- Oh, okay. and everyone says people's shin pads hit each other. Like pla- that's oh, what it sounded like. Plastic hit no, each just other. Clean hit on him. <laughs> Damn, okay. But yeah, that 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 all uh, that entire brawl started because Ro, <laughs> the hero, just won't, the hero, just was he to- a hero? <laughs> Absolutely not. Because is what he could have done, right? That scrap happens probably every game, yeah. or every second game. He just what? let the two fizzle out. That's what it all. No, and, he, and he that's said simple. he said he thought our friend Cal couldn't breathe. That's what he saw. That's what Ray alleges he saw. That's why he went in. Right here, mate. Pull him apart. Yeah. You don't have to fucking <laughs> size someone up. Go for a little jab. He literally went in, sized them up, little jab. That's it. It was over. It was all, everyone ran in a massive brawl with 20 year olds. Then my favorite part afterwards, when we're talking about it as well, one person on our team who's like really close friends with mm. Rohit, like was also like, yeah, look, I know, Ro. If, if, he could, if it wasn't a sucker punch, he wouldn't have punched. <laughs> <laughs> like it was a bitch where he could punch and like not get hit. <laughs> He's not punching there. And then Ray had the audacity to ask us after. I was like, oh, is punching not allowed? <laughs> so are you not allowed to punch? <laughs> Maybe not on the soccer field. God <laughs> damn. That's a good tale. That is a very nice I tale. respectfully was on the side. Oh, you didn't, didn't do take anything. Part. I was standing with one of their team guys as well. Oh, so you were just you were blissfully yeah, he, watching yeah, the two of you. And then he was like, yeah, look, the guy that's like beef and cows, like, yeah, look, this guy's a hot head. He loses his head every game, blah, blah. <laughs> and I, we're just both like, what the fuck is the point of this? <laughs> yeah. This is just so unnecessary. Nice, nice. Like we're standing back, we see fucking 25 feet, 30 people <laughs> scrap. And we're just both like, fucking hell. <laughs> that, that is a good, that is a good tale. I enjoy that thoroughly. That was, I can't believe Ro. You know what, no, actually, I do believe Ro went for the sucker punch. I, I just know that Ro, for a fact, is when he was talking with you guys, he was just generating all this, you know, the defenses in his mind. Nah, yeah, man, yeah, exactly. he, he couldn't, couldn't breathe. breathe sir. Uh, he couldn't breathe. Callum was going pink. Nah, man, Callum was saying help. He was shouting for my help. What else could I have done? <laughs> Can't wait to see Ro next week come and try and defend himself. <laughs> go. Just like he tries to defend his, his, his usage. <laughs> Alrighty boys, it is time for a, uh, well, we might've done this game before, but it's relatively new because we haven't done it in at least two years. It's new and improved. Tr- new, new and improved. improved. It's two truths and one lie. Uh. Very simple game as the name suggests. I'm gonna read to you three facts, headlines, statements, and you're gonna tell me which one is the lie out of the three. Um, so we've each got a few. I'll start us off. Mine are all very local. Okay. Sydney based, Australian based. Mm-hmm. So I want to test your knowledge on how well you know this wonderful country of ours. We're getting points in this. So. You're getting points. So you guys will be playing it. So when I give it to you two, you guys will be playing against each other. Yep. If you guys get it right, fair play. If you get it wrong, I'll get the point and I will be the greatest lie master of all time. I have no idea where I'm going. The greatest with. showman. The greatest yeah. showman. Does that make sense? Yep. Absolutely. All righty. First one, nice Australian facts. Kangaroos outnumber humans by 10 to one in Australia. Mm. The annual world championship of cockroach racing occurs in Brisbane every year. Mm. Australia's capital city, Canberra, means woman's cleavage in the local Aboriginal language and was named that because the city is cradled between two mountains. All right. So are we against each other here? Yeah. Ah, let's talk about it anyways. Yeah, let's talk about it. The third one is definitely true. That just sounds third one too Australian. You know what I mean? Is Sen sitting at home preparing for this episode thinking about Canberra standing for cleavage? Absolutely, man. Ab- that just sounds too Australian. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It, it feels just apt for who we are. You know what I mean? I feel like the cockroach thing. I think I've heard of that. You had cockroach? How do you <laughs> raise a cockroach? That's dude? the beauty of it. Get a little leash. <laughs> 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 yeah. How do you even put the leash on Go. the cockroach? <laughs> You reckon that's true, cockroach racing? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. What was the first one again? Kangaroos outnumber humans in Australia by 10 to one. 10 to one. So how many humans are there in Australia? 26, (laughs) 28? Am I outdated with my information? No, yeah, it's around there, 25, 26. So you're telling me if this is true, you're saying there's 280 million kangaroos. I think that might be true. So, So they're all true. No, nah, the second one for me is false. I think the cockroach, I don't think the cockroach racing is true. I'm going to say, ah, uh, I just don't believe the kangaroo one, but in, in, in theory, 
I can believe that this is a true fact. You it's, know what I mean? It's higher, but it's not 10 to one. Is that what you're saying? Uh, that's, if he games this like that, I think he should be disqualified from this whole game, to be honest. <laughs> if it's nine to one, I'm going to fucking uh, Rohit sucker punch him. So I'm going to go for a false on the cockroach. False on the kangaroo is what I say. All right. Manu is correct. Oh, well, is it is it like a, a lower number or higher? It's two to one. Two to one, yeah. 200, that's fine. 280 that's fine. seemed, yeah. That. See, bro, when the moment you put it in that number exactly. 280 million. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm Tangaroos. pretty sure that's false. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, so Mino gets a point there. Next one. Centerpoint Tower is the tallest building in Australia. Centerpoint Tower is Good old Westfield. a famous, yeah. We've got the Westfield logo here in Sydney in the CBD. The Sydney Just Tower these days? It's called Sydney Tower, Sydney Tower. I realised, oh. but I refuse to call it that. Right. So that is the first one. It took 11 years to build the Sydney Harbour Bridge. The Sydney Opera House has the deepest basement in the world. Deeper than Cush's. Yeah, interesting. I don't know that. Might have to fact check it. <laughs> it's kind of good, but. <laughs> um, first one, seven point. You said highest in Australia or Sydney? Tallest building in Australia. Tallest building in Australia. That's true. I'm pretty sure that's true. Do you have any Burj Khalifas lying around? Maybe in <laughs> Queensland or? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think up in Townsville, they might have one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to say that's definitely true. The second one. What was the second one again? Seth? It took 11 years to build the Sydney Harbour Bridge. 11 years to build. I 11. feel like it was a longer project than Bro, that. Bro, that, that was way longer, wasn't it? I reckon it took 11 years just to get it going. Yeah. Nah. Second one's false. Uh, it had the, to be longer. The third one was the Sydney Opera House has the deepest basement in the world. Why does it have a basement? You know, have Why you been? Do I have a basement. That's we're not going to talk about that. But. <laughs> Why are you incriminating <laughs> yourself? I don't, I don't know. That's a weird know. move by you. <laughs> Why? Why would you said in the world or Australia? In the world. Why would the Sydney Opera House have a basement? Nuclear in case case of nuclear warfare, everyone goes down to the basement. Maybe that is true. But why would it be the opera? <laughs> yeah, why would it be the opera house? And why, when they're constructing such a beautiful building, they think, we gotta, you know, we need a fucking probably twenty meter deep basement or some shit. Maybe it's because where that's where the musicians can acoustics. Go. They can go train underneath, hidden from society, like Whiplash. J.K. Simmons calling you a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Underground training. Is, <laughs> yeah. is this like the Dark Knight Rises? It's like creepy where he's musicians. Like fucking <laughs> <laughs> I, little montages with yeah. the <laughs> instruments. I'm going to say the basement is false. I'm going to say it's the um, the second one. The bridge. The bridge. You're both incorrect. The center point tower is the second tallest we building do have in a Australia. Bridge so it 11 years was to build the Harbour Bridge. Okay. The basement is, it has the largest underground parking in the oh, world. 11 stories sense. underground. 11? That's 11 only stories. station's not bad. It's five stories, six stories. Right? Shut the <laughs> hell up. <laughs> up. All right, so I will get the point. Do you know there. the tallest building in Australia? It's right? in Brisbane. It, it, there is a bush here in Brisbane. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I was onto something. <laughs> All right, next one. Pitt Street is the oldest street in Australia. Sydney has over a hundred beaches, and Sydney Harbour is the largest natural harbour in the world. So just quietly, I have that first one as a as one of mine. Oh really? So. And yeah, what? All we right. know it is the truth. Then you yeah. sit out this one for a second. This is just me, me and Kush. Let him cook. Wait, if you're sitting out, then that means it's false. Well, he knows if it's true or false. Yeah, so then why does he need to sit out? He just has a 50-50 chance now. But he could sway your opinion. <laughs> yeah, true. Because <true>, <laughs> then true. now you know he's, he knows what the answer is. True. Um, okay. Yeah, the, I think the Pitt Street one is true. That 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 is an old dingy-ass street. I, I think that is true. <laughs> the next two, though. What could are you, the next two? Yeah, could you repeat them again? Sydney has over 100 beaches. And Sydney Harbour is the largest natural harbour in the world. Sydney over 100 beaches, surely not. Surely not. I think Australia may have over 100 beaches, but not Sydney. So I'm going to say false on the beach one. All right. Miguel, what's the answer? Uh, the first one's false. It's a <laughs> it's a I just stuck. I had a feeling. The moment you call him out. Wait, is, do you have the actual answer? I can't so don't say. give it away then. I don't can't give it say. Away. Okay. So we'll let Kush cook on that one we'll next. Let Kushy cook. George Street, the perpendicular <laughs> street. We'll let him cook. We'll let him cook. We'll move so on to the next Migs one. Migs gets the point on that one. <laughs> okay. All right, next one. 2.5 kilometers of Uluru is underground. What's with these underground facts, yeah, man? What do you... <laughs> Australia was the first country in the world that allowed women to vote. And the Australian Alps get more snow than the Swiss Alps. I think we've... 
gone on the same website. Website. Potentially. <laughs> top top ten Australian facts. <laughs> um I I don't know. I don't know this Australian knowledge. I can already see the comments being like, ah. How would they know? Australian. They're not yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. Aussie. Ah. How would they know? Yeah. He knows nothing about Uluru, fool. <laughs> um, okay. But well, you climbed Uluru though. <laughs> I remember you said when you got to the yeah. top, you yelled out, A is rock. Yeah. You said, white is right up there. <laughs> and you and Pauline were stuck up there. I couldn't get down. Me and Pauline. <laughs> I had to white face myself when I went up. Um, I think the Uluru one, that sounds true. That does sound true. I mean, it's- well, what, world? What, what did you say? Underground or basement? Wait. 2.5 kilometers of Uluru, the rock structure is actually underground. Yeah, it's like a desert iceberg. But yeah, like an iceberg. I believe yeah. that. I, I kind of believe that as well. The, what was the second and third ones again? Second one was Australia was the first country in the world that allowed women to vote. Was Australia that progressive? It was pretty early though. Like 19 something. Ooh, that's got some knowledge. <laughs> ball knowledge. That's actually decent ball knowledge from this man. <laughs> there you go, TikTok. I am somewhat Australian. <laughs> All right, what are you locking in, Kush? I'm gonna lock in the third one as false. I'm locking in the second one as false. The second one is false. Oh my. Australia was the second country in the world, but it was still pretty early on. I think it was 1903 that we yeah. allowed women to vote. What was the first country, do you know? Uh, let me look that up. Nah, that's all right. I don't, uh, don't worry. About it. <laughs> Can we clip that up? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Miguel gets the point on that one. Two more to go. All right. This one is news headlines. Oh, here we go. Okay, so one of these go. is a fake news headline. Best man left bleeding after being hit in head by flying dildo. <laughs> Second one. Naked North Queensland man chases locals and police around parking lot, telling them they're gay for looking at his penis. <laughs> And the third one, Australian man screaming at spider, why don't you die? Triggers full police response. All right. Second one has got to be true. Second one I think is true. He'd be a junkie. Yeah. That's Unky J. As the third call. one triggers police. I can see that on batutoadvocate.com.au. Yeah. Just, just quietly. It's what was the first one? Uh, best man left bleeding after being hit in head by flying dildo. That I think that's true. I've seen that. Oh, you have you? I, I've actually seen that one. I think that's true. It was true. you. <laughs> <laughs> I always threw it. <laughs> Your dildo was flying. <laughs> I don't know if I saw that in the Batuta or if that was a real article there. <laughs> I think that is real though. I'm going to say the third one is false purely based off that. Because I know the second one is true. I will also go third one. You're both incorrect. Oh, the second what? one what? was the fake one. What? That sounds so Australian. It though. does, but yeah. it's not. I just made that up. Wow. <laughs> well, there you go. Wow. So you both, I get the point there. And the final one, these are, I got three names. These are town names in Australia. One of them is fake. Okay. So we have a place called Quality Knob. Quality Knob. That's right here. There's a place called Green Knob. Green Knob. <laughs> that's right there. And then the final one, Chinaman's Knob. Uh, that's Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Chinaman's Knob. One of those is not real. How do you spell knob in this? All of them are spelled. K N O B. <laughs> the way we think, the way we think. There's a Chinaman's beach. Ch you're Does that indicate that we are not Australia's not above calling things Chinamans? I think knob. Knob's the the critical part. Knob. Chinaman knob. Uh, that's got to be real. That's that just sounds probably a huge island, right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what was the first one? There was quality knob, green knob, and Chinaman's knob. Quality knob sounds too. Too easy, you know what I mean? Quality yeah, exactly. Knob. It's like, oh, that's the f that's the fake yeah. one because you says quality knob, but there's quality street chocolates as well. Exactly. Just quiet, yeah. Like. Green knob. That sounds uh, like Greenland. Okay. <laughs> Famously, well, not in Australia. Let him cook, man. Let him cook. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I actually don't know. I'm just gonna lock in uh, green knob because that's I like the name of the other two. <laughs> Uh, I will also not go green knob actually, just to change it up. I will go quality knob as the fake one. Quality knob is a mountain in West Queensland. Okay. And Chinaman's knob is in New South Wales. Green knob is the fake go one. Why do I want to be baby. different? Let's go. First point, baby. I thought you were first yeah. point. <laughs> and of course it's on the knob question. <laughs> Why? Why did I want to be different? All right, Kush, hit us with yours, mate. All right, I've got a couple of um, topical ones and I'll start off with, uh, with the first one. John Wayne, a white American actor starred as Genghis Khan in a fictional film. 
A documentary series on Netflix has casted a black actress to play Cleopatra, a Greek figure historically. Netflix has greenlit a remake of Star Trek where all actors will be of East Asia descent. Mm. So I was listening back to a couple of episodes and I heard you, you to yawn about how there's not uh, Asian representation in, mm. in mainstream media. Is this change? Is a changing of the tune? I know the Cleopatra one is definitely true. I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard that one. Okay. The first one, some white John Tigers, Wayne that played uh, Genghis Khan. Oh, white dude played Genghis Khan. I have heard of white back in the day. White actors did play Asian act like Asian characters. But I don't think that it's allowed these days. Yeah, obviously it's not allowed these days. But this would have been back in the twenties or thirties or even forties. So this was a fair while ago. So when everything um, was fair game for the white man, exactly. Yeah, and I, I can believe Net- Netflix doing the East Asian Star Trek. So I'm going to say, oh, wait, which no, hang on. Just wait, said all three were true. <laughs> shit. Uh, shit. Okay. All right. No, I believe the white racism more than I believe the Netflix <laughs> East Asian. So I'm going to say the East Asian one is fake. I also believe that, but I will be different and I will go for the first one is incorrect. You should never be different, Mix. You should never be different. <laughs> Sen is correct. There Let's is go. no East Asia remake of Star Trek. It's a shame. It's a shame. And Sen was correct. John Wayne, 1950s, I think, whatever. Decided to um, hop on the Genghis Khan train. Man, I would love, I would pay to watch that right now. His face looked a little tanned if mm. I said so myself. What about the eyes? The, uh, the eyes. Oh yeah. You, they had to, um, moving on. Yeah, Let's move on. on. Let's move on. on. Let's move on. Local man from Kuji says the housing economy in Sydney is currently stable. <laughs> Local man from Bondi creates oh, three up funded by seven up, which now has three paddles and two coins to play <laughs> every day. Local man from Bondi walks barefoot to his office. Mm. All right. So two I, went of these, local. I went local, local stories. Two of these are definitely for two to article two to advocate articles. The first one I can guarantee you is that's so out one. of touch. The second one. The second one sounded real. Three up sponsored by seven up. Okay, no, never mind. That is true. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Do you remember seven up? Yeah, mate, I love seven up. Seven what do you mean remember can seven up? It? No, no, it's being Asia. I don't think it's in Australia. Yeah, it's not in Australia. Right? You can't buy it in Australia. Yes, you can. Can, can you? you? Oh. Where? From like, I, I know KFC has it. As you can, do they? You can oh, pick shit. it as a drink. I, oh, okay. Maybe it's nostalgia. Maybe. I don't know. But yes, we remember 7-Up. Seven 7-Up. Seven Are they sponsoring 3-Up? Because I think the thing is you don't play 2-Up like every, you can only play- It's on only Anzac on Anzac Day. Because it's like a form of gambling or something. It right? is yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so they've- You reckon that someone's created a- It's a sponsored by 7-Up, which just adds the extra be. element. You know, I'm going to be a contrarian. I'm going to say the last one is a lie. I'm going to say the one? middle one is a lie. Guys, three up is a lie. <laughs> of course, Damn it. No three, up. <laughs> three up by seven up, lad. Yeah, the if, seven you, up if you remove the, in there. if you remove the seven up part, I wouldn't have picked it. <laughs> I really wanted it to be true. <laughs> okay, last one. I've unfortunately not gone local. I've gone to our boy known as Tom Cruise. Here we go. <laughs> Tom Cruise starred in a Lion King Broadway production with James Corden. Tom Cruise has divorced all of his wives at the age of thirty-four and Tom Cruise will be shooting a film in space. Mm. 34, is he the Leonardo DiCaprio? Is that, is that going off the Leonardo DiCaprio theory? <laughs> shooting in space, I feel like I've heard that. I feel like that's believable. Yeah, I can believe that. You reckon he's going to space? Yeah. Tom Cruise, big yeah, bro, one Fast of the and Furious went to space. <laughs> that, that is true, they did. <laughs> the first one was- I saw the, I saw the tra- trailer for Fast 10 the other day. Looks fucking horrendous. <laughs> I remember when they used to just do streetcar racing. <laughs> once upon a time, once upon a time. The first no, one- Fucking Dom Toretto's cars getting jacked by two helicopters. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is this? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> the first one, Kush. Tom was. Cruise in a Lion King Broadway production with James Corden. Was, the late was James shows. Corden in a lot of Broadway shows? He was in Cats. Was he that was a movie though. Ooh, and he is a cat. Same different. <sighs> Does James Corden have that in his repertoire? They have that dog in him. He's a- <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I think that's the one. I can believe the other two, Space and 34. I know he's divorced multiple times. I feel like the 34 is like one of those fun facts, you know? Yeah, exactly. Coincidence, did you know? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm going to say the first, first one. one. First one was true. God damn it. It happened actually only recently. God like damn a week it. Ago. The second one was false. 
He has divorced all his wives, but it's at a different age. <laughs> oh. I did a dirty thing. That that's all right. That's all right. His age is 33. <laughs> Apparently all three of his wives, you know, he's oh, like, you know what? Yeah. Goodbye. Fine. All right. You're all whore, right. Kushagra. <laughs> all right, Miguel, let's bring us home. All righty. I've got mine. First one. George Street is the oldest street in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Second, Thornley Maccas is the largest McDonald's in the Southern Hemisphere. And then third, Sydney was given the nickname Sin City due to the organized crime and corruption in mm, Sydney. Okay. I, first one. First one that's true. <laughs> it's definitely. True, it's true. The Sin City, I thought that was- Vegas. Uh, Vegas and Atlanta. I oh, it was Atlantic City. But one, one of those two, one of those two. Right. I've never but heard it could Sydney. be a pro- couple, you know, appropriation. Do you reckon Sydney was called Sin City? I can believe that. But it's Thornley Maccas, the biggest Maccas in- I thought he was about to say Sydney, because then I was like- oh, yeah, uh, Even in great. Australia, that's correct. Yeah, it's great. In the South- Southern Hemisphere. What do we have in the Southern Hemisphere? All of Asia, New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, a bit of South America. Oh, See, actually. I know there's one in the UK- um, Not Southern Hemisphere. Yeah, yeah, I know. But like, I, I saw it and I was like six <laughs> stories. Bigger? It was like six stories high. It was insane. That's delightful. Does yeah. every like floor do like chicken, <laughs> beef, desserts? That's a great idea. <laughs> I don't think they do that, but it's a great idea. But the filet of fish one will be empty. <laughs> it's in the I, basement. I think I might be Southern Hemisphere. Oh. I don't think Sydney was ever called Sin City. I think that's American. So I'm going to go with the Southern Hemisphere one as false. Oh, what do you... Sorry, sorry, Sin City is false. Southern Hemisphere is true. Sin City yeah. is false. All right, I'm going to just copy Kush on this one. He knows his Thornley <laughs> stuff, so I'm going to say Sin City is false. <laughs> Thornley McDonald's is not even the largest McDonald's in Australia, oh. boys. I've included this because every time we go to that fucking Macca's, everyone's like, bro, did you know this is the biggest Macca's in Southern Hemisphere? Uh, and I'm always like, that's a cap, bro. It can't be. It's not that big. Uh, the largest Australia. one in Australia is Bakery Hill McDonald's in Melbourne. Really? Okay. Wow. I don't know. I just thought Thornley had that dog in it. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney was in fact called Sin City. <sighs> wow. Next one, a couple of factoids. Apple was the highest earning company in 2022. The Beatles are the highest grossing music group of all time. And Avatar is the highest grossing film of all time. Third one is true. Avatar 1 is, is it? Yeah, Avatar 1 is the highest grossing Not film. Not Endgame? No. Avatar 2? No, it's between Avatar and Titanic, and I'm pretty sure Avatar surpassed Titanic. Pretty sure. Not Paul Blart Mall Cop? No, seminal classic, that one. <laughs> God, I need to bring that back. Um, fuck, all three sound true. Yeah, I'm a bit uh, I'm a bit torn with this one. Wait, 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 what was the second one again? The Beatles are the highest grossing Ooh. music group of all time. That sounds music true. group. Group, that so sounds not, true. Okay, yeah, that- What, that, what other famous oh. groups are there that would, you know- Meet the Beatles status. I Justice think. Crew. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I don't know, like ACDC, like all those rock bands, Queen, ABBA. Monday, Queen. Just... Jackson 5. Shit, yeah. Oh, this one's tough. I think I'm going to put- Was Apple the highest earning company in 2022? Nah, you know what? I'm going to say Apple is false. I'm saying Apple is false. I think- Highest earning company. I'm going to go with the second one. It's false. I reckon Amazon earns more. Sen gets the point on that one. Good, Apple yeah. was the second highest earning company in 2020. The first was Saudi Aramco. Aramco. Yeah, which the is oil a, bastards. Exactly. Oil. Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me. National Petroleum and Natural Gas Company, $307 billion. Apple was second though. Holy shit. Mm. Okay. The Beatles are the highest grossing music whatever of oh, all time. everything. Oh, wow. Individuals, wow. groups, what have you. Yeah, fair yeah. Play, Next one. Two Up, the iconic Australian gambling game is banned year round except for Anzac Day and Remembrance Day. We know that one. AFL all- is the most popular sport for Aussies to bet on. Pokies are the most popular form of gambling in Australia. All right, last one, definitely, definitely true. Definitely true. I think all of us have a- I thought Two Up was only- Banned on Anzac Day. Remembrance Day. Oh, that's a, that's a <laughs> fuck. I don't know. The second I've one. I've never heard of people playing it on Remembrance Day. Do you reckon AFL is the most popular? That that sounds. Uh, that true. sounds about right. That sounds. It would either be AFL or NRL. AFL is Sydney's biggest sport, though. Like they get like eighty thousand per per match, and uh, I think the second one's definitely so true. It, yeah, I think it's it's the he's thrown us with the and Remembrance Day. You think pokies as well? Yeah, no one's going oh, po- blackjack. No, no, pokies hundred percent is the number one gambling tool in Australia. <laughs> then I think I'm going to go with the first one. Yeah, I'll, say, I'll, it's I'll, only Anzac Day. I would say that as well. 
Two up is allowed to be played on Remembrance Day afternoon. Oh, I suck my yeah. mum, bro. Pokies were like the fifth highest form of gambling. Really? Show. The most popular one is the lotto. 30% oh, of Australians. That is, uh, lotto doesn't That's not gambling. gambling. That's, not gambling. Well, that's appreci- me trying to make my fortune. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure the casinos were higher than pokies. Really? Bro, everyone keeps saying games. pokies are such a big problem yeah, in this country. You know, bro, it's only fifth biggest. It's a lot of about it. Exactly. <laughs> this is percentage of Australians who play it, so. Oh, I'm thinking of not, dollar not amounts, dollars. bro. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, well, that, yeah, okay, I believe that then. Uh, now, yeah. now you know. Now no, you, know you never said by percentage. I said popular. popular. Popular form. Popular, I thought you meant dollars. Yeah, I thought dollars popular. Well. That's not popular. Anyways, next one. Lewis Capaldi has Tourette's. Gunner and Kid Cudi are third cousins. And Drake appeared in Justin Bieber's music video, Baby. Well, yeah, first and third are definitely true. Yeah, I like it because I have no idea who Gunner or Kid yeah, Cudi is. Yeah, first and third are definitely true. And we'll just lock it second. So I want to say second. There you go. Easy point for both of you. Righty, second last one for me. Thierry Henry is the all-time foreign top goal scorer in the English Premier League. LeBron James is the all-time scorer in NBA playoff history. And Roger Federer has won the most Wimbledon titles in the open era. Well, they all sound true to me. Do you reckon LeBron James all-time? <laughs> yeah. No, no, Mr. Jordan. No, he part- Jordan was <coughs> only third or fourth on the list. Playoff history. Oh, play- oh, sorry. I thought I heard all yeah, time. Sorry, my bad. I'm not making it easy for you. Lad. But LeBron has been to the playoffs yeah, many more, times. Yeah. Do you think Shit, I don't Curry, know Steph Curry? Nah, Steph. he's too young. Nah, that's not Steph. You know Steph Curry's 35? Yeah, he'd be still young, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's LeBron. LeBron, I think that's true. That is true. Yeah. I'll, I'll, mm. Vedra, Wimbledon, sounds- oh, I know nothing about tennis. It's between him and Djokovic, right? Nadal's got the- yeah, Nadal, actually, He's I know that. The other He's one. a French Open merchant. That's all yeah. I know. Federer versus Djokovic. Djokovic loves the Australian Open. I think Federer does have the Wimbledon. Okay. And so we're going to say the first one then is false. I'm going to say the first well, one is you're, false. Thierry Henry is the highest scoring yeah, foreigner. I know nothing about that. That actually sounds about right, though. I have no idea who Thierry oh, Henry is. Oh, maybe Aguero has more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is a tough one. What about Cristiano? Hmm? Nah, Cristiano. Ronaldo's no way, many, bro, no, no way. Messi? Um, didn't play in the Premier League. <laughs> okay. He's got a total of zero. Uh, so you said LeBron in the playoff. LeBron James, the all-time scorer in NBA playoff history. So what, he's played 20 years in the league. He's probably made playoffs 80% of the time, yeah. 90% of the time. Made the final six or seven times. I can believe he's the highest. Federer, whatever you said, I agree with that. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to say Thierry Henry. I agree. Well done, boys. That is correct. Ball Sergio knowledge. Aguero is the highest oh, uh, foreign knowledge. top goal scorer of all time. Last one from me. Japanese golfers have hole-in-one insurance. Viagra can help plants stand up straighter and last longer. Honey is the only food that doesn't expire. Oh, yeah. I know yep. Honey's I, true. Honey's I know true. that's true. true. I don't understand what hole-in-one insurance is. Yeah. What, what, is, what do you mean? So, like, to get a hole-in-one, they get- what? That makes no sense. I uh, actually, I genuinely just don't even understand you the premise. Take it of that. how it is. Japanese golfers have hole in one insurance. Dare I say that's true? Then. Yeah, it's so specific. That yeah. I have. What was the second one you said? Viag- Viagra can help plants stand up nah, straight and last longer. I help something surely, else stand yeah, up. Exactly. <laughs> no, plants. Different kind of wood. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I think we'll Viagra both say false. first one's false because I got no idea. First of all, Japanese golfers have hole in one insurance is true. Yeah. So when they they can get insured and when they get a hole in one, they are oh, given yeah, money no, to Viagra's celebrate. False, yeah. Vi- Viagra, in fact, does help plants what? stand up straight oh, and last what? longer. Honey is not the only food that doesn't expire. Oh, you bastard. Oh, You're only, a uh, dickhead. Other, I should have thought of that. Other foods that do not expire Nuts. are white rice, sugar, yep. and a non-iodized not food, salt. Though. They count as food. Food, right. Do you yeah, eat, but do sugar you, is not do food. Do you eat honey like just as honey? Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. fucking weirdos. Right. Both of you. Yeah, we call me weird in the poo, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that. <laughs> Well, they are foods and unlucky boys. I think mine have got most of the points yeah, in his own Boston. round. Yeah, bastard. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, at the end of that, I ended up on seven points. Miguel second with six and Kush at the end of that comes last with four. Hate to see it. Of course, Thornley Maccas isn't the biggest. <laughs> I'm actually in my head, I'm like Showground Road Maccas is bigger. <clears throat> Victoria Road is bigger. <laughs> silly boys, silly. Crotch discomfort hurting your game? Fear no more, the kings of crotch comfort. Manscaped have spent two whole years, that is 24 months, designing the most comfortable boxer briefs out there. Sleek, soft, 
comfortable and flexible. The brand new boxes 2.0 from Manscaped take your balls to the Royal Ball Throne. The global leaders in below the waist grooming have the Lawnmower 4.0 for the trimming, so you can wear the boxes 2.0s for the chilling. Bars. They even trademarked the jewel pouch TM, so you know it's serious. Boys, Sani, you grab for your, your gooch. You wear mm. the boxes 2.0. How are they? Oh, you wouldn't. The Kush saw me check because I was wearing them yesterday. But they feel so at home that you're just like, oh. I, I thought I might have still had them. Yeah. I shower in them. They're that comfortable. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I, I, I love them. I wear do them at you, least. Do you feel the jewel pouch? The pouch is designed to cradle your boys in their own special space. I was about to say, you can feel it just. Just sitting. Just sitting. Yeah. It's comfortable. Comfortably sitting. Chill. Is this heaven on earth? More like heaven on girth. Oh, oh bars. Yes, okay. sir. That's what they say. The micro modal fabric is buttery, soft, and breathable, keeping your cucumber cool. Walk, run, strut. These moisture wicking boxes breathe without breaking a sweat. The tagless waistband hugs your body without digging in and it lays flat against your skin to reduce chafing. That is a big one. There's no tags. Yeah, that so is good. So the tag is not going up your bum crack. Mm -hmm. It's not. <laughs> that happens to you guys or just me? No, I can't. I can't say it does. Yeah, I think it's just you. Oh well, then the but, the two point they solved that it's problem. But I'm helping you out. I'm the two point oh solved the problem. Yeah. So Kushi, where can where can we get these boxes? Yeah, you just go to manscape.com.au or dot uk or dot us, whatever you feel like regionally, and then you input the item. You go to checkout and you hit complete order, and it'll get delivered to your address. Simple as that. Is it? That sounds a bit off, Sen. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't. What do you mean? That's how you check out, guys. Come That's on. how you check out at any regular store. That's how an idiot would check out, Kush. <laughs> uh, what, what am I missing here then? What was well, he missing, Senny? Our smart listeners would know that, uh, you know, you could do Kush's way. And if pay you, full price. Yeah, exactly. If you want to throw money away. Okay. But there's a simpler way. What is it? You do what you do. Yep. But when you get to the end, there's a little box that says promo code. Mm -hmm. And you type in three simple letters, what T, C, and B. TCB. Okay. Absolutely. And then you'll magically see 20% off fly away from the price. Sweet. And then you hit complete order, right? That's it? No, Kushagra. There's more. There's more. What else? You'll see that you get free shipping. Wow. That's a huge one. Shipping these days. Free. 10, 15 bucks. That's class. That, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of that money. That means it'll cost nothing for Manscaped to send the product. They're transporting it globally, potentially. Then Postman Pat will pick up the product from the post office Pat. and he'll drop it at your doorstep oh my for no additional price. <laughs> that's that's class. I'm an idiot. I'm simply an idiot. That's class. So let your bulge breathe and get 20% off and free shipping by using the code TCB at manscaped.com. All right, fellas, new segment. This week at work, we will recount what happened to us this week at work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm glad we gave you five minutes to prepare <laughs> for that intro. <laughs> anyway, so this week at work, <laughs> we had a, a work party. Um, this is everyone involved. So, you know. What was the occasion? Top, top to bottom of the company. Yeah, top top to the bottom. You know, the scum and the, the big men. <laughs> Even the barefoot man. <laughs> and then the barefoot man as well. Um, the occasion was, I just think, uh, they do it like twice a year, like a big oh, kind of event. Must That's be it. nice. Twice <laughs> yeah. a year, man. And so this was one of them. And... I like to get rowdy at these events uh, yes. at, at a sustainable level. You know? <laughs> and so when I do get rowdy, I know immediately, you know, that's enough. You're not having any more. <laughs> You're at that tipsy level. Settle down, folks. Put the hat on. Yeah, put the, <laughs> put the hat Sit on. Sit in the armchair, call it a day. The theme was under under the sea. Oh, yeah. You yeah, did tell I, me about I, I was telling you about it. I was looking for ideas. Someone oh, yeah. did pop up with what we were discussing, the political statement. Yeah. And it was just a uh, plastic, plastic wrapping. Plastic I told him, bottles. I told him to come dress as plastic. <laughs> yeah, the moment I saw it, I was like, thank God I didn't do that. that that's a horrible idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it looked, cause it was actually, it was effort put into it. So it looked all right. My one was just get a two liter bottle. <laughs> yeah, I was, tape it. told tape him it. to just get a plastic bottle and tape it. To just himself. tape it, yeah, which would have been a lot worse, I think, <laughs> if someone saw me. I just went and got my youth goggles that unfortunately didn't fit. Oh so God. they were just on the top of Actually, my head. That's all right. Yeah, that's not were they bad. compressing your head? Uh, pretty much, yeah. And they kept fogging up because of the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the party went on. I finished at eight and then we went to a different place after. So around 100 of us. I'm still there. Now, me and a friend, we went to leave because the food of that party was, you know, they were giving mm. these pizzas that were just not that great. These cauliflower burgers, um, what which- What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. And they'd run out in an instant. It'd be, someone would pass around 10, gone. Just gone. 
and they wouldn't come back for another half an hour. Mate, you got to position yourself mm. by the exit of the kitchen. That is that is rule number one yeah. of these sort of events. Problem was, we walk into a theater room, which I didn't know someone had set up Finding Nemo in the theater room. <laughs> so they I actually, sat down and started watching Finding Nemo for 30 minutes. They committed to this theme. They committed to the theme. And so there were people there sobering up and watching Finding Nemo, but I also was just watching Finding Nemo for 30 minutes. So I missed out on the food. We went to the second place and we, me and my mate, we were hungry as shit. So hungry. So we left. Uh, we went outside and this guy, one of our, one of our close workmates is just on his phone and I can tell he's looking a little, he's looking like he needs a bit of help. He looks up and I could tell he, he found God at that moment. <laughs> he looked at the two of us and he, he screamed, thank you, my brothers. That's what he said. <laughs> and we were like, yeah, look, we wanted to check on you. You look <laughs> a little dicey, my guy. <laughs> but it seems like you're all good, so <laughs> on, to, on to Mickey D's we go. I went to my friend and I was like, yo, I think, I think you got kicked out. And then the first thing he oh. said is like, yeah, I got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And so he's trying to order an, an Uber back yeah. home. Wait, uh, what did he do to get kicked out? He unfortunately had too many. Someone kept feeding him shots. And so he went to the bathroom to just try to vomit. And then he, he slept <laughs> there. He couldn't like, he just passed out he essentially. Passed out. And then everyone had left that area. Cause they were like, everyone get out of the outside area. You yeah, need to yeah, move to yeah. the inside. Toilets on the outside. So they were checking the toilets and this guy was <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just hunched over the toilet seat. And then he went and they're like, all right, look mate, time to get out. Like, get <laughs> Fair out. Enough. And he was like, all right, cool. He, f- he forgot to get his bag. So he was just standing outside trying to get an Uber. Uh, Uber app didn't work. He had some payment issues. So batteries on 12%. That Jesus. man was, he was, he was finding it difficult. Anyway, so he went to get his bag and he was just, he's talking to the second. He's like, hey, man, my, my bag's just there. Like, if he's I slurring his words and everything? He's I'll just walk Bob, in. <laughs> I'll get my bag, my guy. The second gets it for him. We go to Macca's because we're fiending yeah. food. And this man, dude, he was just so happy that he found us. He kept being like, you guys are my angels. Like, <laughs> I can't believe I found you all. The next imagine that, he was probably sitting on the, was he sitting on a curb or some shit? No, he was just outside, just standing, like trying to scroll through his phone. Yeah, imagine that he's it. standing, probably leaning against a wall, can't stand, yeah. swaying side to side, can see his phone battery gone 12%. Doesn't have his bag, it's still Doesn't inside. have his bag, probably his Uber app's not working, Wait, yeah. he can't get home. He dude. didn't think of messaging you guys or calling you guys. We like, asked him and he was like, oh yeah, but my battery was dying. I'm like, bro, you're still 12%. <laughs> you're still <going. laughs> you he can message what? us. The last 10 minutes trying to book an Uber home, man. <laughs> what's, a, what's a minute to fucking message us? Yeah, I, I think he was going to leave without his bag because <laughs> he was trying to book the Uber. Dude, that's yeah, how, that's how ropes he is. Yeah. In his head, he's like, imagine if you guys <laughs> didn't find him. Yeah, that, that was his whole thing. He was like, oh, I can't believe I found you guys. Like, he was just so emotional. <laughs> It was one of my favorite moments of the night just to see this man looking at me and seeing light, an angel. You're his beacon. <laughs> one of God's apostles. That's who I was for him. <laughs> That's who I was. So this week at work, I saved someone. I saved someone and I was considered a hero. Mm, so there you go. That. I love that from you. I love, I love work parties. And like Marta said, when, you, when it comes to food, you got to station yourself. Oh, yeah. At the kitchen. No, I'm th- sorry. That's just basic. Kitchen's locked. So there were people coming with trays. Yeah, but where are they coming from? Yeah, they, exactly. Oh, they came from everywhere. Gotta go to the source, no, no, bro. No, no, it brother. was like fucking Farmville. They'd come from like five different doors. It's, it's on you. That's on you. That's you on gotta you. source the doors. Fine. If they're yeah. all not coming from one door, you find one door. Yep. My Christmas party, that's what me and my whole mm. team did. Literally. We got there, drink in hand. Fuck that. Yeah. We're going to get food before everyone else does. Because yeah. you can see when they carry it out, when they take 10 it's steps- gone. Yeah. Everyone starts hoarding. So you get in before the 10 steps. Yeah. Get in out the door. You grab them. It got to a point where they were bringing out the trays with fucking blankets over it. Yeah. <laughs> because they didn't want us vultures to get it before the people outside could get it. Right? You should have been there at the door. I was at the bar. I was, because they were getting for like the margaritas and they were coming at a you know, different time. Seely, you tell Senny, get me my drink. I'll exactly. get you the- Exactly. You got to divide yeah, and yeah, yeah, cauliflower yeah. burgers You have to get them the duos, the trios kind of range. Which exactly. You didn't split up. Co- corner challenge. I was very quickly at the end when we went to Macca's, we, we ordered food. I got like a cheeseburger and a hash brown and like a couple others got Big Mac and stuff. We paid like seven bucks. He didn't want Macca's. He's like, I haven't had Macca's three years. So he went to like Easy Mart. And then he got some onion rings. Yeah. He came back and he's like, oh, guess how much I paid for this? And we were like, oh, five bucks. He's like, no, nah, I paid ten ninety five for these fucking onion rings. And what we're like- That have probably been sitting somewhere for like fucking five hours. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, we have a cheeseburger, <laughs> which is cheaper than your onion rings. Yeah, but he's rings. better than you. He hasn't had Mac in three yeah, years. He he's better than you. He's better than me. He's better than me. So that, that was an all time moment for me. That that was, uh, it reminds me of another one where we had a work event and we went to KFC after and one of yeah. our workmates was- Completely out to lunch. She was gone. And she's like, I really want wings. I want wicked wings. Yeah. So I go, what are the wicked wings? So she went and ordered 40 wicked wings. <laughs> 
and obviously they didn't have 40 to go. This was like at one or two o'clock in the morning. So they had to cook it. So she was sitting like standing there at the counter, yeah. like slamming it, just like, oh, where the fuck are my wings? What are you guys man. doing? Oh, no. I got to drag her away. She got her wings. She was sitting there at the bench with the wings and she just passed that right in front of them. <laughs> she didn't have any of the wings in the end. You got some wings. I had some great wings. 40 Freshly wings. Freshly cooked. <laughs> 40 wings isn't cheap as well. Wicked That's, wings. What, 70, 80 dollars, I reckon? I think 10's like. Then you can get like 12 bucks or something. 12, 15 bucks. Oh, okay. Still, Still 40 bucks, man. Still, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> 40 wings. All to pass out on them. Yeah. I, I've, uh, I've got a quick one happening to me at work. Mm. I've got an ongoing battle that's happening. Um, so, about halfway through last year, we got moved. Right. So, we used to be on level six of our building, we got moved to level two. And as part of the restructure, everyone, every team essentially got assigned a desk that, all right, this desk is yours okay. and it should fit your team size. And so we have a desk right next to the kitchen, as I explained a few weeks ago when I had that standoff with that woman. Um, so we have a desk there, it's fit for our team, eight people, beautiful. Last few weeks I've been coming in, people have been sitting at my desk. There's been two or three people who've been taking our desk. We don't know who they are. So they're not on your team. Not on oh. our team. We've never even seen these people. Okay. And obviously we don't want to talk to them, but we we have to subtly try and acknowledge that, hey, this is our desk. Yeah. So we now do a thing where if they're sitting at our desk, we roll all our chairs over. Like some people are already in our, like in our team on the desk. Yeah. So we all converge like the auto boss. We all roll up. Nice. And we just like sit around them and like try and make them feel uncomfortable or we like yeah. hover around them. Like if they leave their desk, I'll like take the seat and like talk to my friend. Yeah, nice, And so it's like nice. slowly just trying to get that well, idea it's like the, It's like the maneuver when you go to a local basketball court and yeah, it, exactly. all the courts are taken. So you and your boys just start shooting. You start shooting, you, yeah. If you get so many people that they end up leaving. So yeah, we're trying to make it as loud and as uncomfortable as possible. So these guys leave. Is it the same people? There's about five or six people, revolving door, so but it's same the same culprit, characters same who culprits. are taking our- so I'm I'm locked in a cold war with them. Yeah, good. I like it. Keep doing that. Keep doing the thing where so it's I'll, like- I'll let you know how it's going. Um, we're, we've got a few radical ideas in place. Does well, any of them involve telling them these are assigned No, teams? absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. Well, what are you thinking then? Roll, roll me the Stuff ideas. like taking the keyboard and mouse off the desk so they can't use it. Mm. Like fucking with the monitor, taking the chair away altogether. Yeah. Just stuff like that. Just slowly over the next few weeks, build it up. You're building up the, the physicality involved. It won't get physical. It won't get physical. <laughs> you won't do a little jab at No, that. unfortunately <laughs> not. And last, absolutely last resort is actually talking to them. Yeah. I don't want to do that. How long has it been now? It's been two weeks. <laughs> You know, forget the you know one minute fix of. Yeah, we're, we're at a cold war. This might go. This is years. a cold. This is. Yeah. I'm. I'm settling in. I have built the trenches. Well, I'm settling want, in for the yeah, winter. Ma- well, just make it so difficult for the desks to use that they just don't want to use it. I think that, that's honestly going to be my next. Unplug week, the man. HDMI or exactly. something. Exactly. Literally. How, just got, so how come they get there first? Like, do you guys do they get there like because they're on they're on time? Sends all these there like <laughs> eleven eleven thirty. <laughs> they get there like at eight. Oh, you can't even beat them. I can't beat say, them yeah. there. Or what you do is you print out whatever it was that informed you that this was your desk, mm. tape it on the table. Do you, do you leave later than them? Uh, no, because th- they get there earlier, they leave before. Hey, so you leave- after. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can like just leave something overnight. No, but then the cleaners will come take it. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I reckon put on the table, print out something. Yeah, put on the the table. highlight, exactly. this is our team's Some, table. Yeah. This, is, this is for team. You know, whatever. But, yeah, but also like, putting on the surrounding table so it doesn't look like it's just you doing it. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's getting to the point where in our team our team meetings every week we're talking about it and like our boss is like, What minus them? Why don't you guys just talk to them? We're like, no. <laughs> we're territorial, but we don't want to talk to them. This is war, man. Yeah, this, this is, is war, war mate. <laughs> so yeah, I'll I'll keep you guys updated on where that goes. Good. Alrighty, so I have one quick one this week. So I have not gone to the office in physically in about a month. Oh let's say. And over the past few weeks, boys, I've been getting an email every day. Right. For This has been going on for about one or two weeks now. Okay. Um, and I need to know what to do. So I've been getting email on the dot at around, what does it say here, 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. And it says, someone is here to see Miguel Cardenas at the Sydney office. What? And that is happening every day. It is a different person and I will show you too. I don't think I can show this to the people, but it comes with a screen sh- uh, a, a camera. So you know, there's like doorbells where you ring and it has a camera. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Even oh, at office, the ring. Similar. The, yeah, so yeah, this yeah, is yeah. similar when you sign in. I don't even know where you could sign in this office. No, but this is a guest who's trying to- The guest? Saying and wants to see you, right? Come in and yeah. see me. Yeah. This yeah. is the sort of photos I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
That's the photos I'm getting. And it says I'm a host to them. Guys, I can only describe this photo so much you'd want to stay away. Describe what you've seen. You'd want to stay away from them because they're probably in a white van <laughs> watching. Describe what you're seeing, Sen. Baby people at a park. That looks like Shia LaBeouf if he was broke. <laughs> Dude, so I've been getting that daily for one or two weeks different now. Different people? Different characters? Different right? people. It says, yes, different people. What? So I don't know what to do. Again, the most logical thing is what I suggest to Sen and Brady raise this as an issue, but yeah. nothing's been happening. Cause I told Sen as well last week, I lost my wallet okay. one time. Uh, yeah. And then I didn't actually like cancel my cards for a week. Cause I couldn't be bothered. Right. I think this is similar. I just can't be bothered like so you've never email. asked anyone else, like, hey, does anyone else get these emails? No, I, put it, I put in my team's chat and they're like, ha, ah, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. What the fuck? I, you need to talk to security, yeah, bro. Dude. What the hell? People are coming to see me. Send Nothing's it to IT, so. bro. That is, that's cooked. Cause if it's happening daily at the same time, a, to someone who's actually you, maybe they found your wallet and they're trying to give it back to you potentially. This is occurring before I lost my wallet, just FYI. Oh. My wallet losing was a side, Separate, yeah. side tangent the fact that it's about you. me doing inactivity. Like how, how's your name popping up? The first name mm. that they're selecting. That's maybe the odd the thing. I'm not alphabetical in any list, I feel. Yeah. M so or a C. Do you guys have like a phishing thing that you can send it to? Maybe, but this isn't, this isn't there's a face bro. to it. It can't be phishing yeah, it's if there's like a, a face physical, to it. This is pretty weird. This is actually pretty weird. To your work email. That's what, yeah. Actually, that makes no, me less worried. It's the worry. face. It's the face no, they're, so, they're going, physically going to my office. Yeah. T- tapping on whatever it might be, iPad or some shit, saying they're a visitor. After office, hours, after office hours, no less. And signing in as me. That's or fucking terrifying. Signing in what the seem, fuck? <laughs> signing in that they're a visitor of mine. But so the, do they get let in automatically? I don't know. No, you would have to let them in. I don't right? know if I just ignored them. Well, I'm pretty sure I ignored these emails for a week and I realized I was getting them after a week. Because I've been to an office before where like, if, if you wanted to do something like that, you have to be with that person there because that person has to scan their yeah, like, yeah, For example, yeah, yeah, if it yeah. Brother, I'm sitting at home in my yeah, underwear. Yeah. Like, So it does the email say like, this person has entered the building on behalf or is, like, is they're trying to enter? Like it's got to have something, right? Let me read out to you what it says. It says X is here to see Miguel Cardenas at Sydney office. Yeah, so you have to let them in. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Check in 6 p.m. What? No, check claim, in. Claim your host status at the office. Is it the same person every it's time? It's different no, people. It's, he said it's a different person. That's that fucked. That means that, they're just going and just clicking a random name and just But why is his name? Why is it? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That, I, I can't answer that Can question. Can you put it to the test? Maybe I'll day, well, one day I'll come over and I'll be like, yo, Meeks. Let's see what's up. It says, claim your host status. You, as, a, uh, as a host, you can view activity, invite guests, edit your host details, and update notification preferences. Oh, that's pretty weird. I'm kind of scared. Yeah, I, I'm actually a little that's a bit, yeah. Dude, you need to talk to security. Check in 6 p.m. <laughs> check security out. Police, brother. <laughs> check <NATO>. out. <laughs> check out 11 p.m. They're there for five hours. Oh, so he got in. Apparently so. Means- but how did he get in? But if you're, you're not there. It, I, dude, there's, that's a, yeah, that it, feels like it's a breach there, don't stop. I don't know, I don't know, bro. Yeah, you need to talk to your- Yeah, I would like, definitely yeah. raise this with someone in case <laughs> This isn't happens. a cold war, this is like a war where you may actually yeah, die exactly. <laughs> any imminent moment. I will, I will raise this and uh, let you guys know. Okay, good. Alrighty boys, that is the end of this wonderful episode. 202. 202. Actually, no, it's, we'll start, we start again. We're up to episode two now. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do that I when we hit 100. I don't think we approved that change, yeah, Kush. Yeah, yeah. Let, right. let, we're 2 2 2 Let us know. There's actually more to that Rohit story. We've left out a bit oh. in there. So if the listeners are keen, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you the full details. And before next week's episode, whatever Rohit says next week, that wasn't true, man. Yeah, he's, exactly. just, he's just covering his bases. Mm. But otherwise, check out our other episodes on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Check out our YouTube. There's a, some delicious stuff there on the old YouTube. And Shorts as well. Little clips. Mate, the clips are there. All in one channel. Exactly. There I, there I say Class. as well. And if you are on TikTok, check us out on TikTok. <laughs>